Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing while the Ranger Grand presents the national anthem, followed by our invocation. caretakers, the administrators and donors and staff who do the work to provide this opportunity for higher education. Most importantly, thank you for the parents and grandparents and friends and mentors, champions who have supported these graduates. Bless you all who are gathered this day. May our gratitude be immense and our desire to serve humanity resilient. We pray in the name of the one who came to live among us, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Please be seated. and welcome to the 15th Annual Fall Commencement Exercise at Northwestern Oklahoma State University. It is an honor to welcome the families and friends of the graduates to our campus. On behalf of our Board of Regents, administration, and faculty, I offer my congratulations to today's graduates. Before I begin the introduction of today's speaker, Please allow me to recognize another distinguished graduate of Northwestern who continues to give back to her alma mater by serving as a member of the Board of Regents of the Regional University System of Oklahoma. Please extend a warm welcome to Regent Jane McDermott. to move forward from Northwestern, I understand that for some, perhaps many, the future is uncertain and maybe even a bit frightening. But I am reminded of the words of the English author Simon Sinek when he said, the challenge of the unknown future is so much more exciting than the stories of the accomplished past. As graduate, it is now your time to write the future with your works and your needs. It is now your time to help chart the course of your community and nation. And it is now time for you to add to the abundant legacy of Northwestern Oklahoma State University. I'm confident in your ability. Today's keynote speaker is an individual who not only has added to the rich tradition of success among Northwestern graduates, but continues to provide opportunities to students through her professional work and generous philanthropy. Alba Nady, 
Mary Margaret Miller earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in music, specializing in flute performance in 1986, and a Bachelor of Science degree in business administration in 1989 from Northwestern. She began a successful career in the family's banking business at Central National Bank of Alva, now known as Bank Central National Association, and at Hopeton State Bank. She now serves as chairman of the board at both institutions. Miller and her husband Todd moved to Edmond in 2012, but are still very active in the Alva community and Northwestern. They both share a love of baseball and were major supporters of the Vision for Victory campaign that led to the renovation of the university's baseball stadium, now known as Myers Stadium, in honor of her parents, W.D. Jr. and Lily Myers. She enjoys traveling, knitting, and therapy dog work. Miller also is involved in Chapter FHPEO Sisterhood of Edmond and the Cocker Spaniel Club of Central Oklahoma. Please extend a warm welcome to today's commencement speaker, Mary Margaret Miller. Good afternoon. Thank you to Dr. Kennedy faculty, administration, and all of you here at Northwestern for inviting me to speak today. As you know, Northwestern is my alma mater, and I can't imagine a greater honor than to be asked to be here with you all today. I want to talk to you today about gifts. Not gifts that we think of this time of year wrapped up in pretty paper and bows, but gifts that we receive in life. Ones that may not re we may not recognize immediately, but important ones nonetheless. You have already been given an incredible gift, a college education. And I don't mean that it was given to you for free, because I know that many of you worked hard to put yourselves through school. I mean the gift of an education, one that not everyone has access to. You are ready to move ahead in life, equipped with skills and ideas that will last you a lifetime. This is something that many people around the world would give anything to have, but simply do not have the resources to do so. All right, hat's going to have to go. Dr. Jen like said I could, so I did. When each of you became a Northwestern Ranger, you were given a gift that you didn't know about yet, but you're going to enjoy and discover everywhere you go from now on. Alva, Oklahoma, and Northwestern Oklahoma State University have given you connections you can't begin to imagine. I call it the Alva Connection. For the rest of your life, wherever you go, whatever you do, you will find people who have lived in Alva and or went to Northwestern. If you take the time to visit with people, and especially if you're wearing a Northwestern shirt, you will find folks who will want to talk about their time at Northwestern and Alva with much affection and pride. Trust me on this, it's happened to me so many times I can't even count. I have run into Alva Northwestern people in Hawaii, Europe, and all across this great United States. It's amazing and something to be appreciated and enjoyed. And now I'm going to tell you about a few of the gifts that I have found in my life. To hope, hopefully maybe you will see gifts that are coming your way in yours. The gift of family. I was adopted by my parents when I was two weeks old. The gift of their unconditional love was actually the second gift I received, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. I grew up with loving and amazing parents who gave me every advantage a child could have. They also gave me the gift of my bank family. As Dr. Cunningham told you, my family has been associated with now Bank Central National Association since my paternal grandfather bought an interest in the bank in 1919. My father was president of the bank and my mother was a board member. They, along with my aunts and cousins who also worked there, created an atmosphere of family on the job. I began working there summers when I was 13 years old and continued full-time there after I graduated from college. The gift of music. I honestly don't know who I would be if I hadn't played the flute. I was so excited to join band when I was in sixth grade. And at first I thought I wanted to be a drummer. 
go figure. So my parents took me to the before band meeting with our my band director would be Mr. Ron Cross. And when I told him I wanted to be part of the percussion section, he said, okay, tap your foot and clap your hand on the upbeat of your foot. Easy, right? Ha, I was so nervous and intimidated by Mr. Cross, I couldn't do it. The harder I tried, the worse it got, and I was so embarrassed. Well, he said, well, let's forget about that for now. We'll come back to that if that's what you want to do. And I was just mortified that I, you know, I thought, great, I'm not going to find anything I can play. I want to be in band and I can't play an instrument. But fortunately, Mr. Cross had a little insight, a little experience with uh, nervous sixth graders and asked me to try the flute. Why not? I couldn't be any worse at that than I was at clapping my hand on the upbeat of my foot, I hope. He held the head joint up to my mouth and said, now it's just like blowing over the top of a pop bottle. Well, those were the magic words. How easy could it be? He held that mouth, the mouthpiece up to my mouth and I made a sound on my very first try. Poor Mr. Cross was so startled, he almost dropped the head joint on the floor. But what a gift. What a gift that Mr. Cross gave me to help me find the instrument I was born to play. I loved band all through school and college. And I loved it so much that I did earn a flute performance degree here at Northwestern. I still play whenever I can because I love to share that gift and give it back to others. The gift of even more family. Sometimes gifts are hard to see at first. I lost my mother to breast cancer when I was 16 years old. My father passed away suddenly when I was 25 and just had finished college. And these two things are catastrophic and sad, yes. But the gift in all this is the gift of living in a small town like Alva. I had so much support around me. I had all my friends and their family, my bank family, and my best friend's family took me in as one of their own, and I still have them today. And about uh, the year 2000, I gained yet another family when I started dating my husband, Todd. His family has always treated me as one of their own, and that is truly a gift. Now earlier I referred to the first gift I was given, and that, had, and that has its own outlook in it, and I'm going to tell you that right now. Myrna Messenger, a graduate of Stillwater High School and a sophomore at OSU, became pregnant out of wedlock her sophomore year. Her parents helped her and supported her. She decided, had decided to give the baby up for adoption. She moved to Kansas City to a home for unwed mothers where the baby would be born and the baby's adoptive parents would come take the baby home. Myrna's father, Andy, was the minister at First Christian Church in Stillwater. He and his wife, Dorothy, confided in a doctor and his wife, friends of theirs, through the Christian Church that their daughter was pregnant and was going to put the baby up for adoption. It just so happened that the doctor and his wife knew of a wonderful couple that wanted to adopt a child in their hometown. It was the answer to everyone's prayers. The couple drove up to Kansas City, Missouri in November of 1962 and brought their baby daughter home to Alva. And yes, that baby is me. My adoption even started with an Alva connection. I found out uh, after my dad died that there was an adoption file. I had access to information about my adoption. So I read the file and thought, well, I always knew I was adopted. It wasn't anything I was curious about or uh, actively sought to learn about, but it was good to have the information. The older I became, the more I thought, you know, that woman gave me an amazing gift by giving me up because I've had a wonderful life as the result of her unselfishness. So I thought, well, maybe I better tell her thank you, see if I can find her and then I'll tell her thank you. Well, I got the adoption file out, and in February of 2016, I took a leap of faith, investigated further, found my mother's information, discovered that she lived less than two miles from our new home in Edmond, Oklahoma. There she was, two miles away all this time. So I sent her a letter by email and said, thank you, and I would like to get to know you. It's up to you if you do fine. If you don't, I'm okay with that. She wrote me back the next morning 
saying, th thanking me for getting in touch and saying that she would like to meet me. On impulse, I picked up the phone and talked to her on the phone that day for about two hours. And on that day, I realized the incredible gift of my biological family. I have a mom who is also a flutist, by the way, a younger brother and sister, uncles, aunts, and cousins. And my mom's mom, my gram, was still alive at age 102. We lost her recently, and I'll be forever thankful that I found my family when I did so, so I could get to know the extraordinary woman that was my grand. I played my flute at her memorial service, and I can't tell you how glad I am that I could do that to honor her. So now you know the gifts are everywhere, and the ultimate Alba Connection story. And I'm not telling you all this to brag about my wonderful life. I just want you to know that I've been gifted, and you will be gifted too, just be open and look for them everywhere you go. And I hope that you will do that. You can find them if you try. Even the worst situations can teach you something if you're open. You have the knowledge and intelligence to take on this great big world and go out and make it better. Give back to others, be kind, be open-minded, and be brave. If I had been afraid, I would have missed out on some of the greatest gifts in my life. Learning comes from everywhere. Let your imagination and creativity guide you. And don't forget to have a little bit of fun along the way. Having a hobby and having fun, that's important too. Most of you think you know what your passion is in life, and go ahead and pursue it. I wish you all the best. But don't be afraid to try something new if you find your passion winning. Keep looking until you find that one thing that you can't live without. I wish the class of 17 the best of everything has life has to offer you. Right, Rangers, right. For the confirmed degrees, I would inform family members that they are invited to take photographs of graduates, but must stay clear of the stage area provide clearance to official university photographers. Northwestern will provide each graduate with the complimentary access to photos of their diploma presentation. Thank you for your cooperation. President Cunningham, on behalf of the faculty of Northwestern Oklahoma State University, I cert certify that the candidates seated in the reserve section and those whose names are listed in the program have satisfactorily completed the prescribed requirements for the appropriate master's degree as authorized by the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education in this university. I recommend that the appropriate master's degree be conferred on these candidates. By the authority vested in me by the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education, acting through Northwestern Oklahoma State University, I hereby confer on each candidate the master's degree for which he or she qualifies. The candidates for the master's degree will please rise and proceed to the stage. Trent Lee Meshack, 
Master of Education, Adult Education Management and Administration. Melissa Whitaker Sturgeon, Master of Education, Adult Education Management and Administration. Chandra Kimball, Master of Education, Adult Education Management and Administration. Elise Marie Keyroads, Master of Education, Adult Education Management and Administration. Anthony Dean Goldman, Master of Education, Adult Education Management and Administration. Clayton Patrick Garcia, Master of Education, Adult Education Management and Administration. Reed Aaron Miller, Master of Education, Adult Education Management and Administration. Jason Edward Barlett, Master of Education, Adult Education Management and Administration. Christopher Ford, Master of Education, Educational Leadership. Lance P. Gordon, Master of Arts, American Studies. President Cunningham, on behalf of the faculty of Northwestern Oklahoma State University, I certify that the candidates seated in the reserve section and those whose names are listed in the program have satisfactorily completed the prescribed requirements of the appropriate baccalaureate degree as authorized by the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education and this university. I recommend that the appropriate baccalaureate degree be conferred on these candidates. By the authority vested in me by the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education, acting through Northwestern Oklahoma State University, I hereby confer on each candidate the baccalaureate degree for which he or she qualifies. The candidates for the baccalaureate degree will please rise and proceed to the stage. Dina Barclay, Bachelor of Business Administration. Shanley Era Russo, Bachelor of Science. Laura Elizabeth Brackage. Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Lucas Dollarhide, Bachelor of Arts. Buster Cole Horn, Bachelor of Science. Devin Payton, Bachelor of Science. Erica Hostetter, Bachelor of Biology. Go, Erica! 
Caitlin Dolby Bell, Bachelor of Science. Kelsey K. Hinnaha, Bachelor of Business Administration. Amber K. Sexton, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Seth L. Reeves, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Whitney DeWeese Hake, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Devin Randall Watson, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Shelby Lynn Grosper, Bachelor of Science. Crystal Guadalupe Ferrer, Bachelor of Science. David Gutierrez, Bachelor of Science. Stephen David Bin, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Michael J. Rude, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Maria A. Loy, Bachelor of Business Administration. Sarah Gail Dysert, Bachelor of Business Administration. Quayla Hazen, Bachelor of Science. Jacqueline Blackwell, Bachelor of Science. Brittany Freck, Bachelor of Science. Murphy, Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Maria C. Aceves, Bachelor of Business Administration. <laughs> Brandy Geneva Hinesley Chambers, Bachelor of Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Tiffany A. McClaskey, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Angela Ruth Buller, Bachelor of Science, Education. <laughs> Jennifer Heitman, Bachelor of Science, Education. <laughs> Hilda Dawn Freeland. Bachelor of Science, Education. Taylor Lee Black, Bachelor of Science, Education. Connie Elizabeth Bryant, Bachelor of Science, Education. Jessica Renee Morton, Bachelor of Science, Education. <laughs> Beth Baker, Bachelor of Science, Education. <laughs> Matthew Cowart, Bachelor of Arts, Education. <laughs> Courtney Gentry, Bachelor of Science. Brianna C. Zendeval, Bachelor of Science. Quinaya Ban Suresa, 
Bachelor of Science. Yojina Shurasta, Bachelor of Business Administration. Relina Johnson, Bachelor of Science. Caden Nicholas Gasek, Bachelor of Science. Drew Taylor Slovak, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude. Rachel Lillian Carter, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. David Kangas, Bachelor of Business Administration. Eilish Colley, Bachelor of Arts. Matthew Henry Thomas, Bachelor of Science, Education. Kale Dice, Bachelor of Science, Education. Preston Drew Sims, Bachelor of Science. Jacob Ryan Winget, Bachelor of Science. Weston Wilson, Bachelor of Science. Dakota Monday, Bachelor of Science. Shelby Ray Bennett, Bachelor of Arts, Education. Aaron Fallis, Bachelor of Science. Shania Lee Schoomaker, Bachelor of Science. Ann Bullard, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Ashton Bailey, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. Ashley Denise Litke, Bachelor of Music. Allison Joe Hill, Bachelor of Arts. Jacob Joel Goodman, Bachelor of Science. Stony Galeno, Bachelor of Science. Candace Moore, Bachelor of Science. Megan Elise Garnett, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Melissa Nolan, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Vicki Odell Jordan, Bachelor of Arts. Rachel Lee Burke, Bachelor of Science. Erin Elizabeth Hopkins Davis, Bachelor of Science. Brandy Lynn O'Malley Moore. Royce Danae Tucker, Bachelor of Business Administration.
James Alexander Curry, Bachelor of Business Administration. Matthew William Curry, Bachelor of Business Administration. Derek Cole McKinnon, Bachelor of Business Administration.
Amen.